Hilltop Zone. Dubbed Killtop by many. Going from the very start of Hilltop 1, uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can do it the same, the similar way to what Sonic does. Spin dash, do a small spin dash up here. You can land either here, by which, uh, which then you spin dash off here, and really hope that this guy doesn't hit you. You have to hold down, uh, and depending on your speed of spin dash, he will sometimes just hit you and kill you, so that's a risky way of doing it. But you hold down, come up here, you jump off the end of the slope, and you re-land on this slope, and you jump off this slope, and hopefully land up here is where you're trying to land. So th this is this is slope jump the zone, by the way. You need to jump off so many upwards little slopes in this to get the height that you need. Uh, otherwise, the way I like doing the start of this level... Oh, you can do it another way to make it safer to not get hit by that guy. You can land on this platform and then spin dash off this guy, uh, off this platform like that, and this guy won't even be spawned. And then you do the same thing here, you land here, and you land up there with a faster spin dash than that. Please do a six tap, not a three tap. Land up there. Um, and then finally, spin dash, and then jump off of this slope, this ramp here, uh, fairly late, so that you get a decent amount of height. It's really awkward, it's actually a very small window to get a nice height off of this. If you jump too early, you'll be fairly low like this, and if you jump too late, you'll be going backwards slightly, like that. But that's fine. Anyway, as long as you get fairly high off of this, this uh, ramp here, and then glide at the peak of your jump, you're gliding all the way along that first section, the closer you are to this uh, to this little section, the better. There's two different things that can happen here. If you've done a really perfect, really high glide and not bonked into any of that wall there, and probably your subpixels are correct, you can actually land on top of this rock, which is really fast. Is it going to happen here? Not quite, bonked into the rock. So otherwise you land next to the rock, which is where all those other routes end up being, over here. You can actually land on top of that rock, uh, in which case you, go, you skip straight to the section I'm about to show you. You have to react to it. So from landing here, from any of the other routes, you're going to jump and then press jump again to glide into the corner of the rock and do the instant run without breaking the rock. So you'll be going like that and you'll be running across the rock. And you want to then jump off of the rock really late. So this this is quite a tight uh, jump to get. If you jump off the, lo the rock as late as possible and then glide quite early but at the peak of your jump, as early as possible as you can while at the peak of your jump. You'll grab onto this wall. It's really tight to grab onto this wall. If you're any lower than this, you'll drop down, maybe fall in the lava and die. But uh, if you grab onto this wall, you can do a couple of fast climbs there. I'll climb up the corner and spin dash. This spin dash needs to be fast. After you spin dash off the corner, you actually want to jump inside this tunnel so that you're now running. So that you don't slow down, you don't slow down from the rolling speed anymore. You're just running, and you don't have a speed cap because of your knuckles. Uh, wait until these three rings have come on screen, and then jump again into the roof, and that should land you here, depending on the speed of your spin dash. And then once you're here, you want to jump, uh, do a full jump off of this, and depending on your speed of your spin dash again, you might need to hold left to slow down a little bit in the air. And then land on here as the goal. You want to land on this moving platform. Sometimes if your speed spin dash is slow, you don't even you can't even make it to this platform holding right the whole time. But the goal is to land on this this moving platform in the lava and jump off it immediately onto here. You can stop on here either with a glide stop or just landing. And then there's a one frame window to jump here after spin dashing. So do a fast spin dash. This has to be generally fast. It have to be perfect. And then you want to jump, you can kind of see a little micro slope in the grass there. There's a, there's a taller spike of grass there. And that's what I use to know that the angle of ground is actually slightly steeper at that spot. And that's the uh, the one frame that you have to jump on in order to get high enough to get all the way up there. I actually got it, that's a good uh, timing right there. So you get all the way up onto this section. Otherwise your jump will be slightly lower, you'll only be halfway up this wall and you have to grab it and climb up it with your knuckles climb ability. Once you're standing over here from either way, spin dash, and there's another couple of micro slopes. There's one here and there's one like here. Anyway, there's micro slopes in this ground which get you slightly further up this wall. That's lower up that wall. Climb this wall. Once you climbed onto this corner, you wanna do like a one tap spin dash and then a glide into cancel your glide instantly to land on the spring is the fastest way. Instead of just jumping onto the spring, you can do like that. So it's a spin dash and jump immediately after spin dashing and then glide on top of the spring like that, but on top of the spring. 
Anyway. That's the fast way of hitting that spring. And ideally you don't clip the ground but you land straight onto this uh, moving platform. Then, once you've collected the first couple of rings that this platform moves through, you're holding right to fall off of it on purpose down into this corner. Let the platform land on you. With your iframes you get carried down under the lava. But before I get to that, actually, we're going to cover the other ways of doing this. If you miss this wall and don't manage to grab it like that, you can be on this section and go the lower path, which is fine. You just need to spin dash from either here or that moving platform down this section. And then as Knuckles, you want to jump off of this ramp here and then glide at your peak of your jump to land here. And then spin dash and jump across there and you'll be in this same spot. You can go for the frame perfect jump to get up that wall or not. Moving off here, letting that push us down. So this is the window we're looking for. What I pay attention to is these three blocks, the lowest part of this cave roof, coming off the bottom of the screen. So the window you're looking for to press left to zip out of this section is two frames after this. Uh, that's more like four frames. To anywhere, anywhere between kind of when the bottom of the screen is covering here to about here. It's like a four frame window. It's not that bad. You probably don't have to pause for it. Most people don't pause for it. And you'll zip out there. And two things will either happen. You'll, uh, you'll either fall down like that, in which case you need to go on that spring and just uh, bounce back up here like that. Or you'll actually uh, get yourself out of this wall boundary too and be falling right here and you can hold right and land straight under this spot, which is the faster way obviously. But that's a more specific window while coming down there. You can actually get one where you've zipped all the way out here and you've ended up in this spot, which in which case you're slow, you have to run out and then come back to here. But you do get an invulnerability, which makes the next section slightly easier, slash slightly faster. So, as long as you've got to here in some way, spin dash off of this, jump into the roof and hold right. Wait until you're clear of these spikes and jump up here. Uh, Knuckles jump height isn't high enough to go from here up and up until under this uh, section so you need to actually stand just before this rock like this and we're waiting for the reef to move enough so that we can stand up in this space don't jump too early or else you'll get reversed crushed by the reef as it were um, but yeah let's see if i can just show there we go coming out of that wall like that so yeah yeah you can get reverse crushed if you, if you jump too early because your ball, fo ball form is there. We go. Your ball form is uh, shorter than when you stand up, and as soon as you stand up, you become crushed. So just wait for a little bit longer than you need to. There. It's helpful to use the fact that if you glide into the side of the rock, just like we did earlier in this level, you do that instant run thing. You can't actually. It's unless you wait way longer, you can't really do a glide stop here. Um, it doesn't really work because you'll land up. You end up just running on the rock. You can do, just do a jump without gliding and bounce off the rock and stop here. But either way, you have to stop like a Sonic player and actually tap left and right and stop on the spot. So anyway, get up here as soon as you can without being crushed. Stop on the spot. <laughs> do as fast of a spin dash as you possibly can. Jump into the roof and hold right. And once you're at this spot, hold roll. And hopefully, if everything goes perfectly and this platform is on a nice cycle for you, you get to actually roll over this whole section without hitting the lava. That's like the optimal way of doing it. Uh, and then... If you haven't got this platform on a nice cycle, you'll end up uh, running into the lava, getting hit there, and then you just spin dash again to get through the door before your iframes run out. That should be fine. If you have no rings at this section, it's possible to have zero rings at the section, um, because you had to damage boost to get glitched through the platform earlier. Um, as long as your spin dash is very fast over here, and you jump uh, into the roof like that, and you're in a running animation coming up here, your spin dash has to be nice and fast. Just don't roll at this point, and you'll run through that ring there and pick up that ring and be safe. Uh, once you're in these S bends, uh, well, well, once you come out of these S bends at the end, I like to hold nothing, and hopefully, I'm not sure how consistent this is with this ramp because I can't make it particularly consistent. Someone else can hopefully correct me. Um, this ramp will launch you at this nice horizontal angle, like this, up and up over the top of this loop. The goal is to land just before this box action air or whatever. And you need to start holding left while you're in the air here. As long as you know you're going to clear the top of this loop, hold left in order to slow down to land before this box and spin dash off here, hold right there. I think that's it for that level.
Hilltop 2. We're going to spin dash as soon as we start, and we're going to jump as, as soon as we finish that spin dash, as soon as we come out of that spin dash, on this little micro slope here, which sends us up at the right angle. Like that. That was too early. <laughs> like that. And then glide stop on top of here somewhere. So then, we're going to spin dash from here. We're going to wait until we're on the downward slope of this section and jump. Do a full jump and land here. Just hold right through the section. Hold right all the way up here until you land here. Let go right and do a full jump. And hold right to taste until we're trying to super glide off this dinosaur's head. So wait as late as possible. This needs to be a fairly decent super glide as in quite high. So you need to press glide just before you're going to land on him. Uh, if you get hit by him it's actually fine. You can just go for it again. Because we want to land on top of this loop. It's very easy to not get high enough and bonk into this loop and you can't climb that wall up so you really need to be high enough super glide to get on top of this loop. We land on here, spin dash on here, there's a couple of different ways, shout out to Haiti for this way, I like this way. Um, so we're going to spin dash, jump, delay our glide a tiny bit because the roof will be too low otherwise. So you drop down from your glide a tiny bit. It's actually a tiny bit too much because we don't want to break this box. Breaking the box is really bad, we want to super glide off that box. I'm going to keep the safe state at the beginning of the level because there's a couple of different routes here. Jump, super glide, land on this, spin dash, jump, glide. Uh, so yeah, you want to be your head to be touching this roof, hopefully. <laughs> and then once we're here, stop gliding, land on here. Jump off of here, do another super glide off that box, and then you'll grab onto this wall. Climb up to the top of this wall, and then our paths converge, so I'll go through the start of the level uh, again. With different paths. So again with the bottom route, you're gonna jump, you're gonna do the super glide up here. <clears throat> so you get to the same spot on top of this loop after the super glide. And instead of doing a glide off of this loop, we do a spin dash and a jump, and then another jump off of here, and you land just before this fire guy, and jump over this fire guy, and hopefully jump over that fire guy. Um, to land just past that rock, jump up here, and you'll be over here. And you'll be have some rightwards momentum to run up the slope, and you jump off of this upward slope to get enough height to super glide off that box. Nice and high, up onto the wall, and then you're in the same spot as the other one. Otherwise, from the start of the level, there's a different route you can go. You go the Sonic route, the, up, the upper route, which looks like this. Instead of that downward slope, we jump off of this upward slope over here. We land on this part, we spin dash up here and jump near the top of this upward slope. So you get enough height to be on this loop. Uh, you still have right momentum, so you roll through this box, or if you stop before that box, you spin dash through that box. Oops. Uh, either way, that'll land you down on this spring, that red spring. Hold right as soon as you're landing on this red spring. Go all the way to here. Still holding right, you're gonna bonk that wall, then hold left, and land exactly in the center of here where the spring is. Oh, land on the spring would be optimal. Um, can you tie up on this route? I'm gonna take that spring over here, there's two possibilities, you either land on top of this ring box or you land just past this ring box on the grass. And uh, depending on which one you need to jump, you need to be ready to jump immediately as you land on them. Um, so we land here, so jump immediately, jump off of this, and then you're back on that route I just showed where you jump before the fire guy, uh, jump over this section and jump off of here and super glide for the box. Okay, and then all the routes have converged here. From here we do not a six step spin dash, otherwise you will bonk on that roof there, you just do a, a messy, slow, slightly slower spin dash. Uh, you're running into this cave, so the route I like to do in this cave, there's a couple of different ones, I'm not going to go over all of them, I think my one's fairly optimal. Um, wait until I'm going to clear this roof with a jump, do a jump there, and glide to stop here. Do a, as fast a spin dash as you possibly can, and do a jump there. That spin dash has to be fast and that jump has to be late in order to make it up onto this platform. <coughs> jump and glide stop on there. Depending on what cycle this platform is, you can either get a, a nicer way to do it or not. But if you're here as fast as possible, this platform won't be on the nice cycle, so it's a way to make up time if you're slightly slower, basically. If this platform is up right next to you, above the platform you're on now, you can just spin dash as fast as possible off here, and it'll take you onto this section. If it's not there, you have to do a little jump, so... Do a little jump like that. And then from here, do a little jump and glide stop there, and then do a fast spin dash, jump into the roof. Hold right down here, and we're going to jump off as late as possible on this yellow spring. 
So we should hopefully bounce us off that box and onto that red spring, or run us straight onto that red spring here. And hold right. Hold right, mostly off that red spring, you want to land here without bonking on the rock. So land on this spot of grass. Full jump off of this spot of grass. Please. Uh, and then we're looking for these row of rings. So once, as soon as you're past the first ring, as, as long as Knuckles is past the first ring, start a glide, and you will descend just enough to clear this corner of the roof without bonking into it and not be too low down. So you want to be as high as you can, but under this roof. Okay, and that will glide you to about here. Hopefully you won't have to climb up on this corner, hopefully you'll just land on this grass. Spin dash, three tap there. Jump on and climb up that corner. Spin dash, little little tap here. Like, it can't be a really fast spin dash, otherwise you'll bonk this corner. And jump immediately out of the spin dash, holding right still. And then jump immediately as you land, and climb on this wall. Climb on the wall, do one climb up. Like, a couple of fast climbs if you can. And you're at that checkpoint. Not fast enough spin dash. Roll up the corner, the boss. Hold right, got the boss, get eight hits, the easiest boss. At the peak of the slope, just after the slope is finished on the flat ground, that's when you jump to land on the capsule. I think that's hilltop zone. It's a good enough hilltop zone for me. Yeah, any updates to this tutorial, I'll try and keep updated in this in a YouTube playlist.